हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एनी वन कैन लर्न ओके टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट अवर टॉपिक ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स ईच एंड एवरी वन फॉर शोइंग देयर सपोर्ट फॉर माई चैनल आई आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू ऑल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज शो योर सपोर्ट इट विल गिव मी मोर मोटिवेशन टू मेक मोर गुड वीडियोज ओके प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके थैंक यू सो मच ओके सो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम वी विल स्टार्ट अवर टॉपिक ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन सो ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन कैन बी ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन कैन अकर बिटवीन ड्रग्स ओके बिटवीन ड्रग्स एंड फूड्स एंड दे कैन इंट्रैक्ट विद द रिजल्ट ऑफ लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट और प्रोड्यूस द फिजिकल और केमिकल इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी सो इट मीन्स the drug interaction are three types drug with the drug interaction drug with the food interaction and drug with some medical condition interaction okay so here the more drug a patient receive the greater the chances that a drug interaction will occur obviously like if one patient is receiving a multiple drug for such kind of patient there is a more chances of getting so much side effects ओके और देर बी चांसेस ऑफ हैविंग सो मच ऑफ ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन पोटेंशियल ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन इंक्लूड्स एडिटिव इफेक्ट्स पोटेंशिएशन एंटागोनिस्ट इफेक्ट्स ओके डिक्रीज और इंक्रीज एब्जॉर्बशन ओके डिक्रीज और इंक्रीज मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड एक्सक्रीशन ओके एडिंग इट all up means if we are concluding all the above things it shows that additive effects can occur when two drugs with a similar action are administered to a patient okay what will happen when we are administering a two drug with a similar action to a patient the effects are equivalent to the sum of either drug effects okay if it's were administered alone in higher doses okay so here it's showing if we are giving two drugs with a similar action okay um, with a similar action are administered to the patient the effects are equivalent to the sum of either drug and uh, drug effects if it's were administered alone in higher dose giving two drugs together such as two analgesic analgesics are the drug which is used for relieving the pain okay pain relievers has a several potential advantage uh, advantages okay and lower dose of each drug decrease the probability of adverse reaction and greater pain control than from one drug given alone so it's very easy to understand if you are giving two drug with a lower doses it will give a um, it will decrease the probability of adverse reaction and increases the pain control more okay it will it can control the pain uh, more effectively most likely <coughs> because of different mechanism of action reason is different mechanism of action because of that only it showing uh, good control over the pain okay and there is a reduction of adverse reaction now there is a decreased risk of adverse uh, uh, adverse effect when giving two drugs for the same condition because the patient is given lower dose of his drug and why it's happening because the each drug is given in the lower doses the higher the dose the greater the risk of adverse reaction we all know the higher the dose the greater the risk of adverse reaction now moving toward the towards the synergistic situation okay now synergistic situation what is synergistic situation a synergistic effect also called as potentiation occurs when two drugs that produces the same effects are given together and one drug potentiates means enhances the effect of another drug okay this pro- produces a greater effect than when each drug is taken alone so if a uh, drug is given alone okay the effects are less but if two drug 
with the same 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 action is given together see here a synergistic effect also called as potentiation occur when two drugs that produce the same effect are given together and one drug potentiates means this drug this drug okay it enhances the effect of other drug for example this drug enhances the effect of other drug and this produces a greater effect than when each drug is taken alone so the effect effect is good effect is good for this one okay fighting it out an antagonistic effect occur when the combined response of two drug is less than the response produced by either drug alone so here what is happening uh see drug a showing good effect okay good effect but if taken with if taken with some drug a plus drug 1 we can give the name like that for example just just an example drug 1 plus drug 2 so here the drug 1 and drug 2 uh, they both combine together but it will not affect the it will not enhance the effect of each other what is happening here the drug 2 drug 2 it fighting it out with drug 1 so okay they are they are anti to each other and so become a combination of this kind of drug uh, it reduces the effect it will reduce the drug effect reduce the effect okay effect will be reduced so that is called as antagonistic effect occur when the combined response of two drugs is less than the response produced by either drug alone okay absorb so now we will see about an absorbing problem okay so what is the uh, uh, what is it mean when two drug given together can change the absorption of one or both of the drug okay like uh, two drug when they are administered together what will happen uh, it can change the absorption of one or both of the drug drugs that change the acidity of the stomach can affect the ability of another drug to dissolve in the stomach so some drug uh, have the property to change the stomach acidity and it will affect the ability of another drug to dissolve in the stomach some drug can interact and form an insoluble compound that cannot be absorbed so some drug plus drug interact form the insoluble compound insoluble compound okay and what will happen that can be <coughs> that cannot be cannot be absorbed okay so that kind of effect is also there so sometime an absorption later drug interaction can be avoided by administering the drugs at least 2 hours apart okay so now bound and determine bound and determine okay so bound and determine so here we will see about bound and determine bound and determine means after the drug is absorbed the blood distribute it throughout the body once the drug is absorbed so what is the function of the blood it distribute it, uh, it distribute the drug throughout our body as a free drug okay or one that bound to the plasma protein when two drugs are given together they can compete for protein binding site leading to an increase in the effect of one drug as that drug is displaced from the protein and become a free and unbound drug it's very easy to understand if if you have any confusion you can ask me in a comment box i'll tell you uh, in more detail about the drug protein binding okay toxic waste so we will see about the toxic waste toxic drug level can occur when a drug metabolism drug metabolism drug metabolism and excretions are inhibited by another drug when 
for example one drug is given with another drug so the another drug what uh, it can do it can reduce the drug metabolism okay and uh, and excretion are inhibited by another drug so if metabolism is not happen excretion is not happen so there is a lots of accumulation of drug and it causes the toxicity in the body some drug interaction affect the excretion only okay <coughs> back to the uh back to the lab so what it means drug interaction can also alter the laboratory uh, tests and produces changes seen on a patient electrocardiogram okay menu planning so it's a drug it's a drug drug food interaction okay interaction between the drugs and food can alter the therapeutic effect of the drug food can also alter the rate and amount of a drug absorbed from the gi tract affecting the bioavailability the amount of a drug dose that made available to the systemic circulation okay the drug can also impair the vitamins and mineral absorption some drug stimulate the enzyme production increases the metabolic rate and demand for the vitamins that are enzyme cofactor which must unite with the enzyme in order for the enzymes to function okay dangerous interaction can also occur for instance when food that contain the vitamin k such as the green leafy vegetables is eaten by a person taking the warfarin the drug the drug's anticoagulation properties are decreased and blood clot may form so is all the examples for the drug and food interaction grape fruits can inhibit the metabolism of certain medication resulting in a toxic blood level example includes fexofenadine albendazole and atorvastatin because of all the interaction food can have with the drug metabolism being aware of drug interaction is essential so grape fruit can inhibit the metabolism of certain medication resulting in a toxic blood level examples are here fexofenadine albendazole and atorvastatin so because of all the interaction food can have with a drug metabolism being aware of drug interaction is essential so we all should aware about the drug interaction okay drug and food interaction it's very important so here is just a just a cue uh, just a quick uh topic small topic related to drug food interaction review a patient's diet carefully okay drug interaction with the food can reduce absorption or even produces a dangerous changes okay so important to review the patient diet carefully okay so here till here we finish our drug interaction topic from the next uh, in the ne in my next video i'll uh, i'll teach you about i'll explain you about the adverse drug reactions thanks for watching my channel please do like share and subscribe please like share and subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thank you so